I'm back. Hey guys, still a little bit sick, but let's just get straight into it. So, I've been moving lately, or trying to move. I've been trying to like sell my stuff or like get rid of my stuff, and it's made me realize a few things. Why the fuck do I own a toaster? Like, that sounds like such a weird thing to say. Toasters are kind of like something that people accept. It's kind of one of those things that's in every house. A toaster, a kettle, generally a kitchen and a bathroom. And yeah, well, you need a toaster to make toast, obviously. Um, and then you need bread. Uh, so yeah, what's, what's the point here? Well, I'm like 29 now, and I've only lived in four places my entire life. So the house I was like um, raised in, like I guess where my parents lived, um, I was in there from basically birth until I was 18. Then I went to university and spent the first year in on-campus accommodation, um, and then after that it was like eight years in this awesome rundown share house we called Crawford, and then the last two years have been like in a two-bedroom apartment. Now I've been meaning to move to Sydney for probably like the last three years. Most of my friends have moved up there, my girlfriend's up there, most of the opportunities are up there, most of the networks and the kind of people that you want to hang out around with, like the futurists and the technologists. But probably one of the biggest reasons why I haven't moved yet is that in my two bedroom apartment that I rent, I own everything. And like it's mean, you know, fridge, washing machine, tables, chairs, couches, all of that crap. And it's three stories up, stairs only, no elevators. So I'm, I think I'm still a little bit traumatized by that moving experience. Um, my dad helped me out like a few years ago moving in, and that was like painful. In an ideal world, every single rental apartment or house would operate much like an Airbnb. You can book it for one day or you can book it for like three years. Um, no bonds, it's just all reputation based, all fully furnished. And if I lived in an Airbnb rental, like imagine uh, it was like the same rent you pay right now, but it's just fully furnished and you can book it for as little or as long as you want, that would make it so easy to move. I wouldn't have this massive stress of owning all this shit. My best option at the moment is to somehow try and find someone to move into my apartment and then buy all my stuff off me for cheap. That's what I'm trying to do. Otherwise, I'm going to have to individually sell every little item. And on top of the big like furniture stuff, I've also been going through all of my stuff that I have um, and digitizing, taking photos of it and then throwing it away. Like I literally have all of my schoolwork and trophies from when I was a kid. So anyway, the point of this is that while going through this process, it's kind of like broken me out of the status quo. I mean, you, you, I start looking around the apartment going, okay, do I need that? What is that? Can I get rid of that? I don't want to have that anymore. And that got me thinking, fucking toasters. Why do I own a fucking toaster? <laughs> and it sounds like, yeah, obviously you need a toaster right now. They're really cheap. You can get them for like six bucks, I think, at Kmart. But even owning a simple toaster, as cheap as they are, it's still, you're responsible for those atoms. You can't just suddenly leave the apartment, you know, travel overseas, never come back and leave the toaster there. You're responsible for it. So wouldn't it be awesome if you could literally just get toast on demand, delivered via drones, in under five seconds? Anything you want. Amazon and others are already exploring drone delivery, um, mostly for like packages, obviously for Amazon. But if you apply it to like anything, if you can actually have reliable on-demand drone delivery, it changes everything. A lot of these base automated technologies tend to like have these massive emergent effects. You think of like self-driving on-demand cars, think of how much that changes society, just that one thing. I mean, with that one alone, you don't need to own a car, so there goes 1.2 billion cars in the world. What do we do with those? Um, you can reclaim a lot of car parks and, and space. Um, you don't need traffic lights, all sorts of awesome stuff. So too with drone deliveries. So I think it's not just about getting packages really quickly. Think of it how it can change everything. Like, look at everything in your house and think of how that can be provided to you on demand. Like, why do you need a kitchen at all? Like, houses might be built with actually no kitchens. We can completely get rid of that concept. And that's, that's really bizarre. That's like, that's like breaking the mold. Because if you can get something as simple as toast delivered to you, like on demand, any type of toast you want with any type of topping you want, delivered directly to you within 5-10 seconds, think of what else you can do that with. You can do that with coffee, any type of drink, any type of food, so now suddenly you don't need a kettle, you don't need a toaster, you don't need a fridge, you don't need a pantry, you literally do not even need a kitchen. Okay, so while we're at it, let's get rid of the washing machine, because that's a pain in the ass to carry up and down stairs. Um, so imagine if you just had drone laundry, it, you just request a drone, you throw your dirty clothes in, it goes and washes it and returns them. Cool, so now we've gotten rid of things like washing machine, fridge, microwave, all that heavy, bulky stuff you don't want to deal with. Next thing is like technology. Okay, so we can replace all technology with augmented reality glasses. So I have a giant 60-inch TV. Why? I don't, I don't know why I did that. Um, obviously with a giant-ass cabinet underneath to hold it, because it's got to look good while you, it's perched against the wall. And then a desktop computer, big bulky one with three screens, um, two laptops, two phones, uh, tablets. So you can see all this bulky electronic stuff. But you can replace all that just with augmented reality because with AR glasses like Magic Leap just releasing either this year or next year, you can just basically project holograms, like augmented reality screens on any surface. So you don't need a TV, you don't need a monitor, you don't need a laptop. Now, couches, tables, and mattresses, beds, I don't know how you get rid of those yet. If you've got any ideas, let me know. And of course, a bathroom. Like, I don't know how you can really get rid of a shower and toilet. You, I, you can't really have on-demand toilet. Or you probably could, but that'd be a bit nasty. <laughs> toilet drone flies in. 
And so just like self-driving cars have a massive impact on society, so too will autonomous uh, on-demand delivery drones because you can start to basically build houses that don't need kitchens, which is really crazy. And it's a little bit of a reversal on the whole sharing economy thing because rather than everyone owning a toaster and that being really bad for the environment because everyone just throws them away, all you need is one industrial level robotic toaster in every single city. See, I just really love that idea of looking at drone delivery as an autonomous on-demand thing at the minute level of like, I just need one piece of toast because that dramatically changes society more than just package delivery. At